Meet Screen Break, Item Beauty's blue light and anti-pollution face mist. I swear to God, like all she had to do was use 5% of a quarter of half a Cheerio of a brain cell to know that this was a bad idea. I, I just don't understand, like, like, like when she was making this product, did nobody tell her, oh yeah, this already happened and it uh, ended pretty badly for Valkyrie because, you know, uh, well, she was selling some bull crap. I'm on my phone and my laptop a lot, and if you don't know, the blue light that comes from devices can actually cause skin fatigue. Oh yeah, so that's why you're showing a model who doesn't look fatigued whatsoever. Great marketing idea, like let's just, you know, show this problem that exists, you know, this blue light, it's really bad, it's really the worst. You know, looking at your phone for too long, doing the daily wordles, it's actually worse than, I don't know, like testicular cancer. And in order to prove that point and really sell you on this product, we're gonna show this model who just looks like she's in paradise. Anyways, if you haven't already guessed, today we're going to be looking at Addison Rae's newest scam. Uh, basically, she's launched a, one of these blue light skin protection products. It's just like, you know, this whole thing, this whole industry is just bullcrap. You know, we went over this, I believe, two or three months ago at this point where Valkyrie had dropped Reflect, which is a, was a like a blue light protection skin lotion thing. But as it turned out, the blue light from your phone doesn't really do any damage to your skin. And the damage that it does do is not any way comparable to stuff that actually can cause harm to your skin, like the sun. I don't know, like UV rays and stuff, you know, you catch my drift. Anyways, though, I guess Addison Rae didn't really catch that whole episode of the internet. You know, I sort of thought after this all went down that uh, influencers wouldn't be trying to sell blue light protection shit again, but <laughs> I guess Addison is here to prove me wrong. So today we're here to watch slash react to slash roast the Addison Rae skin protection product trailer called Screen Break. Meet Screen Break, Item Beauty's blue light and anti-pollution face mist. Oh, anti-pollution, like anti-greenhouse gases, anti-littering. What, what are you talking about? It's like our face mist is gonna end climate change? Okay, Addison. I'm on my phone and my laptop a lot, and if you don't know, the blue light that comes from devices can actually cause skin fatigue. So this is clinically proven to help protect your skin from those artificial blue lights. Screen Break helps relieve dry, screen-drained skin with a moisturizing boost clinically proven to protect against artificial blue lights. Yeah, you lost me at the screen-drained skin. I don't even know what the hell that means. Hey, yeah, man, if you've been on your phone for five hours, you're, uh, you're screen-drained. It's also great because it helps hydrate and tone your fresher feeling skin. I'm sorry, but you literally have to believe it says gullible on the ceiling if you believe that dandelion extract is going to defend you. Yeah, man, just go to your backyard, grab a bunch of dandelions, and just squeeze them in your hands till you get, like, the, the flower liquid, and just rub that on your face, then you're good, man. I also found it funny seeing as one of their top ingredients, uh, was found in a thing of ho-hos. I keep it with me all throughout the day. Yeah, no, you don't. And you know that you don't. This is F-tier advertising with some of the most bland and boring claims ever to be made. Like, no, you don't take it everywhere you go. You took it to this set to record an advertisement for it, and then you probably threw it away. And spray it anytime I need a screen break. Okay, so how about this? Whenever you need a screen break, crazy idea. How about you turn off the screen? Alright, so then they go on to, like, film a little montage of them spraying it all over themselves as if it's some sort of, like, ambrosial elixir, even though in all reality it's probably just water. Anyways, I wanted to actually check out the product, so they have it on Sephora, and as you can see here on the website, you can get 95 milliliters of this just shit for $20. That's quite the steal if you're uh, a bit retarded. Now, the interesting part is if you scroll down to the reviews part, you'll see that a lot of these reviews were paid reviews. As in, these people were given the product for free and were paid to write a positive review for the product to make it seem like the product's actually good and not just complete crap. But even after all the paid reviews, you can actually see some uh, honest reviews. This one's pretty good. Scam does not work. There have been many studies showing that blue light from computers does minimal to no skin damage damage, and you would be much better off buying and wearing sunscreen to protect from blue light. This is practically the same product, Reflect, and likely the same team that Valkyrie was working with until the extreme uproar due to the fact that there is no science backing this product and its claims, and that blue light is not serious threat to skin. TLDR, this doesn't work. Does nothing. It's just water in a bottle. You're better off with a setting spray from Anastasia or Too Faced. Now, literally, the entire rest of the positive reviews that have anything above four stars are paid for. So this right here is a paid review and I'm just gonna read it. You can very much tell how obviously paid for it is. This mist is exactly what I needed during this winter time. As someone who works in the tech industry, my screen time is longer. The mist is so refreshing and hydrating. It helps calm the skin. Loved that it has 
Nysa made whatever too. Packaging is so handy to carry in a purse. Price is very reasonable too. I highly recommend this mist. But as you can see right here, this post was incentivized, meaning the content creator received something in exchange for this post, in parentheses, free product, payment, or sweeps entry. Also, I love the about section for Addison Ray's brand. Item Beauty by Addison Ray is a clean beauty brand with a passion for confidence, self-expression, and a dose of self-love. Item Beauty products are vegan-friendly and cruelty-free, with science-backed ingredients. Yeah, okay. Whether you are feeling mostly casual or sometimes extra, Item Beauty believes makeup should be fun and a good time for you at the same time. What does that even mean? Also, by the way, if you look under any of the sponsored comments, you can see that they're all downvoted. All of them. Like this one, for example, has zero upvotes and 67 downvotes. Nobody is rocking with Item Beauty from Addison Ray. Philly D just nailed it. We saw so many people saying, why would Addison Ray release a product that literally got destroyed just a few months ago? This is like coming out with the Omicron variant for blue light protection cream. And what potentially makes this especially egregious is that there's no way the company launching this and or Addison Ray was not aware of what just happened. And I wanted to elaborate on this point because I think this point is so true. I think the company that did Addison Ray's scam knew exactly what Valkyrie Ray's scam was doing and thought, okay, why don't we just do this ourselves because Addison Ray's audience is just stupid. The average person that's idolizing Addison Ray, I'd have to assume is like an 11 year old girl. So I'm guessing like Addison Ray's team was like, okay, let's just copy and paste the Valkyrie Ray scam because if it didn't work for her older, more mature and like smarter audience, why don't we just try it with Addison Ray's much more un intelligent audience. You know, the longer I, I kind of sit with this story, the, the more it feels like what Addison and her team have done here is far more egregious than what Valkyrie did. Because at least with Valkyrie, there could be some doubt, right? She trusts her team. She she maybe was misled by someone. She just kind of went along with stuff. But the, the controversy around her was so big, like we talked about, it's hard to imagine that Addison and her team just did, weren't aware of it. And while I don't have their demographic information in front of me, I think an educated guess would say that Addison Ray's audience is probably far younger. Yeah, facts. I think Addison Ray is far worse than what Valkyrie did. Like, this is just unacceptable. Because not only is what she did post Valkyrie scam era, it's also to a much younger target. She's selling this dog shit to low IQ, low attention span TikTok kids that start drooling when they hear anything or see anything that has to do with Addison Ray. I don't know, man. It just feels a lot more shady. So you're going to have people saying, you know, she's just misleading children who are going to be less likely to push back than other people and all for personal profit. Facts. Anyways, though, I've decided that if this video gets 3000 likes that I will buy some of Valkyrie's product, not even a joke. I'll literally unbox it on stream and use it to see if it does anything at all. Anyways, I don't really see how her getting like some short-term quick cash off this is really gonna like outweigh the long-term damage this will do to her reputation. You know, it's not like anybody had massive respect for her in the first place, but I don't know why she would take whatever respect she had and throw it out the window just for some quick cash. If anything, I don't see why she couldn't have just spammed bang energy promotions for like her next 10 TikToks. So I mean like, okay. Anyways, I'm curious to hear what you guys think. Do you think this is worse than I'm saying it is? Do you think it's not as bad as I'm saying it is. I'd like to hear what you have to say. Let me know down in the comments below. With that all being said, hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Please be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're at all to the channel. Comment down Toaster if you made it to the end of the video and I'll try to heart your comment. Big thanks to all my channel members. As always, you guys rock. Follow me on my social medias and join the Discord server. Links are all in the description below and I'll see you guys later. Peace.